Ladies and gentlemen, shall we begin? I'm delighted to welcome you to this conference to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the launch of the Center for European Legal Studies. I remember well when, as a newly arrived PhD student, I attended the official opening of the Center on the 6th of October, 1992. It was a time full of excitement and optimism. And CELS became a visible sign of the commitment of the faculty to European law understood in a very broad sense. That is to say, covering comparative law, what was then European community law, and the effect of what became European Union law on the national legal systems. The creation of CELS had a profound impact on teaching and research within the faculty and was instrumental in forging Erasmus programs and collaborations with other institutions and with the legal profession. Quickly, CELS became a hub of European legal scholarship promoted through international conferences, seminar series, visiting fellowships, and both occasional and regular publications best exemplified by the Cambridge Yearbook of European Legal Studies. The Mackenzie Stewart Lectures, as you know, have attracted an impressive array of speakers over the years, drawn from the EU judiciary, from the political institutions of the Union, from the national political arena, and from international organizations. Along the bumpy road of treaty amendments, case law developments, and political turmoil, CELS has been at the forefront of the study of EU law and has welcomed vibrant communities of research students who have become leading academics in this and other universities. This conference marks just the beginning of the 25th anniversary celebrations and has two very specific purposes. First, it aims to look at the journey of cells for, for over the last quarter of a century. We are immensely grateful that all the directors of cells, sadly only with the exception of Professor Claire Kilpatrick, who very much regrets that she is unable to be here today, have accepted the invitation of the management committee to share with us their thoughts on the development of EU law and of European legal studies during their respective tenures as directors of CELS. It was their vision, their energy, and their commitment that steered CELS over the years and propelled it to the place that it occupies today. I am sure that their presentations will give us an opportunity for reflection and in these very difficult times for the EU, much needed encouragement to look to the future. Secondly, today's conference is also an opportunity to gather those who have contributed so generously to the work of CELS over the years and to thank you for the many ways in which you have played a crucial part in the development of the center. Aside from the directors, three past assistant directors are here with us today, Dr. Angela Ward, Dr. Okio Dudu, and Dr. Marcus Gehring. But each one of you has a very close connection with cells, which the center values greatly. We are grateful that so many of you have been able to join us today and that we can look forward to a day of reflection and celebration. In the morning session, Professor Bill Cornish will begin setting the scene with a first presentation on the early years of cells. He will be followed by Professor Alan Dashwood, who will talk on cells at the end of the European Community's Golden Age. And then there will be a time for questions and comments. The morning session will be moderated by Dr. Angela Ward, who is currently a referent there 
in the chambers of Advocate General Tenship at the Court of Justice of the European Union. And she's also a visiting professor at Birkbeck College. Before taking up her role at the court, as you all know, she was an assistant director of cells and a fellow of Magdalen College and also a reader at the University of Essex. And she is the author of a very impressive list of publications in the field of EU law. I will conclude this introduction by making reference to the lecture that Lord Slynn delivered on the occasion of the official launch of cells. He said, "If as I think, Britain should be not only at the heart but also at the head of Europe if it is in it at all, there are few better ways of preparing our future political and administrative leaders than by a grounding in community law." While his words may sound particularly painful in the world following the Brexit referendum, they are also a powerful reminder that there is much to learn from what cells has achieved over the years and still much work to do for the future. So without any further delay, I leave the floor to Bill Cornish, Alan Dashwood and Angela Ward. Thank you.